As you near the end of Elden Ring's story, you'll probably notice a large chunk of your map is still missing. That's because even after you beat the main story, there's still a whole other region to unlock and explore. Here's how to get into the secret endgame region of Elden Ring. Now we'll try to keep things as spoiler free as possible, but consider this a catch-all warning just in case you see something you don't want to. The secret region is called Mikola's Holic Tree, and to get there you'll need to get your hands on two medallions. The first you'll find in the ruined Albanoric village in Liurnia of the Lakes, south of the Academy of Rai Lucaria. If you talk to this ghost at the well, they'll indicate that you should seek out someone named Albus hiding nearby. Head up the hill south of the well, looking out for the perfumer up here, and you'll find a large, otherwise unremarkable pot covered with a cloth lid. Give it a whack or a roll, and you'll find old Albus. Please, no. Dear me. Talk to him, and he'll give you the right half of the Holling Tree secret medallion, and ask you to pass it on to his relative, Latena. Once Albus turns to dust, the next step is to return to the round table hold, but be ready for a fight. You'll load into an ambush from Encha of the Royal Remains. He's fast and has an ability that'll drain your HP to replenish his own, but ultimately isn't too tough if you keep moving and have some decent gear. Once you defeat him, you'll be transferred back to the normal hold and rewarded with the creepy clinging bone weapon, which lets you perform the same lifesteal ability that Encha had. You can also pick up the Royal Remains armor set from where he used to skulk, which regenerates up to 8 points of health per second when you're below 20% HP. Talk to Sir Gideon and ask him about Ensha. He'll apologize and then give you a tip that Latena is hiding in a cave west of the Laskiar ruins, south of Liurnia. She knows the location of the medallion's counterpart, I'm sure. Get over there and head for this cave, just below a rock formation near the southern tip of the lake. This will lead you into the Lakeside Crystal Cave. Now, this is a lengthy mini-dungeon, but it's fairly straightforward. Just keep following along the path and dropping down to the ledges deeper into the cave anytime it looks like you've hit a dead end. When you reach the very bottom, you'll run into the Bloodhound Knight mini-boss. Now, it's fast, but they are incredibly susceptible to guard counters as long as you have a good shield. You'll get the Cerulean Amber Medallion upon defeating him. Now, this doesn't have anything to do with the quest, but it will raise your max FP by, like, 6%. Exit the cave through the tunnel at the back of the boss room to reach the slumbering wolf's shack where you'll find Latena resting on her wolf along with a Sight of Grace and a Rune Arc. Foul tarnished. What do you want? Say hello and show her your half of the medallion to gain her trust. She'll explain that she wants you to take her to the Forbidden Lands of the North, which, how convenient, that's exactly where we're trying to go. Will you show me the way? Talk to her one more time and she'll agree to come along in the form of an ash item. Call upon me when needed. Now at this point you'll need to get to the mountaintops of the giants to continue this side quest, which becomes accessible after completing Lanedale and defeating its boss. Once you've made it there though, you can go to Castle Soul, located at the bottom of the cliffs in the northeast corner of the region. Now this is a pretty tough dungeon, so you'll want to prepare accordingly. You'll encounter two of those huge lion enemies at the gates, and it only gets worse from there, as it's full of turrets, stormhawks, and full-on invisible knights who only show up when they attack you. Once you make it through, you'll have to battle the dungeon boss and his two summoned knights. You'll probably want to defeat the knights first, starting with the quicker one who's dual wielding. He's pretty easy to separate and then abuse with guard counters, and if you've got a shield with the barricade ability, that will do wonders here. Now the commander seems to get a huge boost in power once both his allies have been defeated, so at this point you can choose to either defeat the second knight the same way, or take on the main dude in a two-on-one. We recommend just killing the knight off and dealing with his extra oomph in exchange for a simpler fight. For such a big guy, he's surprisingly mobile, with a lot of dash and jump moves that can cross the battlefield in a flash. If you need time to heal or recharge your stamina, make sure you're doing it while he's cooling down from an attack rather than charging one up. Keep an eye out for his electric blade attacks as well, which are powerful but very clearly telegraphed, making them fairly easy to dodge and counterattack on. He almost always follows up his strong attacks with a few weaker spear swings too, an easier chance to block and fit in a guard counter, sometimes even multiple across one combo. Defeating him will get you the Veteran's Prosthesis, which lets you do those cool storm and lightning attacks. Head through the door at the back of the arena and follow the path up to the top where you'll find another ghost you can listen to, as well as the left half of the secret Hallig Tree Medallion. 
And that's mostly it. With both halves of the medallion in hand, you can go back and tell Sir Gideon that you succeeded to get a new incantation, or just return straight to the bottom of the Grand Lift of Rold, where you now have the option to hoist the secret medallion, taking you to the Lands Beyond's final secret region, Mikola's Hollig Tree, and all the adventures that await you there. Elden Ring, be sure to check out this guide on duplicating remembrances, or this quick and easy exploit for restoring your health and FP free of charge. Be sure to check out our full Elden Ring guide for more boss guides, tips, and tricks, and for all of your other gaming needs, you're already in the right place here at IGN. <laughs>